and welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm your astrologer and tarot card reader, Mary Trimble, and I'm here with your readings for May the 20th through May the 26th. These readings come in three sections, by the way. The intro, the general astrology of the uh, week, and then the tarot card section of your reading. And there will be skip times to each section in the uh, description box below. Also, this is for your sun, moon and rising. So if you want to check out the other, um, your sun, moon and rising, you'll find all the links below. And that's links to Facebook. I have a Facebook group now that we can have a discussion in. And that's kind of fun. And the link to that is uh, down below. And what else? Uh, these are general readings, guys. So take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you would like a personal reading, then you can find that information below too. Um, I'm coming up with a workshop. Um, if you think you're ready to meet your spirit guide, you might want to check that out. More information on the dates for that, because I have to kind of look at the astrological aspects to, uh, to uh, put that together. And it'll be... Anyway, all the information is below. Now... Welcome if you're new. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy these readings and I hope that you'll come back. And if you're coming back, guys, you're my heart. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your loyalty and your support. Another way to support my channel is through Patreon. That link is below and you can check that out um, also. Now, uh, what else? I think that's it. Let's go to your reading, shall we? Hello everyone, and this is your general astrology section of your reading. Now, <clears throat> basically everything is happening on Tuesday. Tuesday the 21st is a huge day. First of all, the sun moves into Gemini at around 3... 58, I think it is, 3.59 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, the sun has been in Taurus, and that's kind of heavy. You know, Taurus is, a, is an earth sign. It's grounding. It's kind of heavy. Things slow down in Taurus. And then when it moves into Gemini, Gemini is an air sign. It's light. I mean, think of how much earth weighs to how much air weighs, right? So it's very much lighter. We'll feel lighter. We'll feel uh, uh, like spring has sprung, if you will. Um, and Gem Gemini is all about communication. It's about the intellect. Um, it's charismatic. It's, uh, it's, it's engaging. It's fun. It's about novelty. Geminis get very uh, bored with the status quo. They need stimuli. They need new things all the time. Um, so now Mercury, which is the ruling planet of Gemini, is also moving from Taurus into Gemini three hours later, right? So that Mercury is about the intellect. It's about communication, right? And it's been kind of sluggish and very kind of slow and deliberate in Taurus. And now it's moving into Gemini. So it's like fast thinking. Your mind's going to be, you know, quick. Your speech will speed up. It's all about communication. It's about being engaging and uh, light and breezy, nice and easy. <laughs> And then, three hours after that on the same day, so this is very significant. The number three on Tuesday is extremely significant. Um, Gemini is the third house. Mercury is the third planet, the ruler of the third house, right? And there are three aspects going on on Tuesday, and each of those three aspects are three hours apart. Hey, Tell me that's not a coincidence. Something's going on. And three represents Jupiter, expansion, bigger, better, more, right? Um, so what is happening at... Um, 
the Sun moves very close. It's called the Sun conjunct Mercury. So it's very close. They're close to each other. And the uh, symbolism from both planets are amplified, right? So it's about creation, uh, creativity. It's about um, intellect, communication, charisma, uh, being the center of attention, uh, gregarious and uh, social and wanting something new. Now just be careful not to let the ego dominate, right? So pull back a little bit if you feel that coming on. Um, so that's your astrology reading. Let's go to your card, shall we? Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your reading or your tarot card section of your reading for May the 20th through May the 26th. One last shuffle. I've been shuffling these for ages. Okay, this is for Sagittarius. What wonderful gifts, guidance and blessings can you give Sagittarius for this coming week? Three cards for Sagittarius, please. What wonderful gifts, guidance and blessings can you give Sagittarius for this week? Three cards, please. Three cards for Sagittarius. Three cards for Sagittarius. One, next. Two more cards for Sagittarius. What wonderful guidance. Oh, there we go. One more card for Sagittarius, please. Okay. All righty then. Now we need clarifying cards for Sagittarius. I have already shuffled these. I'm getting a little tired, I must say, <laughs> trying to keep my energy up, my vibration high. Okay, let us clarify the oh, Sagittarius, please. Oof, please clarify. There it is. Please clarify. That's it. And please clarify. Oh, there it is. Oh, burning down the house. Down, 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 down. Burning down the house. <laughs> okay, the first card for you is the Five of Wands. And clarifying the Five of Wands is the Queen of Wands. Then you have the Six of Pentacles, clarified by the Justice card. And then you have the Three of Swords, clarified by the Tower. You have three arca major arcana cards. That's life-changing. And that's interesting because that's the number three yet again. Okay, so we have the Five of Wands. <clears throat> this is some kind of uh, conflict going on, some kind of argument, some kind of it could be gossip, it could be something, it's something that you have to kind of deal with. Don't let this fester. It's really important that you deal with it, but it's very important that you deal with it creatively and diplomatically. Um, it's one of those things that you will get so much from addressing it. And it's one of those things that you kind of don't want to address. It's that kind of situation because it's kind of annoying, but it's not that big a deal, but it will be. And also, the rewards for addressing this now are immense. And clarifying it is the Queen of Wands. So this makes me think that you can really mend fences and strengthen your kind of community ties and relations. Because the Queen of Wands, she goes out, she networks, she's gregarious, she's the hostess with the mostest, but darling, don't cross her or she, you know, she's she fiercely protects the one she loves, so she can kind of explode. I'm getting that this um, <clears throat> situation could explode out of proportion if you don't handle it. And you will feel so much better um, for handling it, and you'll be uh, respected for it. <clears throat> now, you've got the Six of Pentacles. So the Six of Pentacles is the service card. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the service card... It's about helping someone else. It's about putting someone else before you. How can you help someone? If you 
if you are better off than someone else then yes you can help them monetarily or sometimes it's just kind of being you know a <clears throat> you know a shoulder to cry on and, or an ear to listen to someone's woes whatever that service is this is the service card this could mean that help is coming for you but I think really um, it could be if you need help help is coming if you are not in need of help and you have the ability to help someone else then please be in service it's important to be in service and you've got the justice card and the justice card is saying if there's litigation or anything like that it's going to come down in your favor um, this is also a karmic card so it depends on if you've been above board, if you've treated people well. It's ca the karmic, karma is in balance here. I'm sorry, I'm just tapping into this because I'm saying this could come down in your favor, but perhaps it doesn't. Um, whatever happens here is it ultimately in your favor it may not feel it but it is and the reason I say that is you've got the three of swords that's pain there's no two ways about it it's betrayal it's your heart you know it's uh, it's a pain that you have to move through and you've got the tower so that's why I was singing bowing down the house right so something's going to fall apart something's got to go anyway it's got to go to make room for the new so you may lose a job you may lose an apartment you may lose you may need to leave the country the city you know it could be a boyfriend you've lost a girlfriend a friend something is being removed if you don't rem you know what it is you see look the three of swords is a deep deep pain that, that's been around since you were young right and situations and people can kind of bring this pain to the surface at times and and sometimes people are, are gobsmacked at how we react to this to in this pain right by something that they don't think deserves it but what they don't realize is that they that someone has stimulated and stirred this pain and it comes to the surface and even though it seems kind of out of proportion to someone it's not for those feeling it right it's just it's just something else it's like poking a hornet's nest is what it is um, Sagittarius I don't know what is coming down for you but it is a time of change and it's you know listen it's a time of change for all of us and when we face that change and when we embrace that change it's not as painful it's just like okay this is happening I've done my best for it not to happen and guess what it's happened so now I have to figure out how am I going to get through this and what's my next step so look pain is inevitable suffering is optional don't stay in the pain it's like move out of that pain Sagittarius thank you so much for tuning in please don't forget to like this video and share it on your social media and comment I always answer every comment and if you haven't already please subscribe I love you all and I'll see you next week